My hands feel so naked right now because this is part three of my jewelry collection video where I will share with you all of my nearly 50 rings. I mean, I only have 10 fingers, so you know I am quite obsessed. I want to start off by showing you more of these Read Your Heart beautiful pieces. I'm actually wearing the Moise and I earrings as well as necklace that I featured from my necklace collection video, and they've kindly sent me three beautiful rings. If you're unfamiliar with Read Your Heart, they make a lot of really beautiful moissanite jewelry. And moissanite is as sparkly, if not more sparkly, than diamond, but at a fraction of the price. And all of the pieces come with beautiful gift packaging as well as GRA moissanite certificate. The first ring I want to show you is this beautiful moissanite ring. Because it is a travel ring for me, I can really experiment with different styles of wedding or engagement ring. So I picked up this beautiful flower design. I think it is just so unique. And because I tend to like to go to tropical areas for vacation, I feel like this floral design will go with a lot of my beautiful floral pieces in my closet. I've clearly thought through all of the use cases of this ring to make sure that I can maximize the wear. Just to show you side-by-side -side comparison of Moissanite and Diamond, as you can see, Moissanite is even shinier than diamond. But besides engagement rings, they also just have really beautiful statement rings. The first one is this beautiful moissanite band. And I actually love that the moissanite covers half of the ring. The other half is sterling silver. I like that because it doesn't hurt my finger when I'm wearing it. It's really, really comfortable to wear. You get all of the statement effect but it's really, really comfortable feeling. And this piece, I can definitely layer with other pieces in my collection. And in fact, you can almost wear these together as a set. I think it is such a beautiful statement as well. Next one that I picked up is quite a statement style, and it is a pink heart. How gorgeous is that? Let me put it on my finger for you. I was thinking to wear this ring on my middle finger as really a statement piece. Look at this shine. I am obsessed. It's so gorgeous to wear on its own, but also you can wear this statement piece right next to it to create a double statement effect. It looks good on the index finger as well. I just feel like this is such a statement piece that has really good value for money. So everything will be linked in the description down below as well as my discount code. Moving on to other silver pieces or silver colored pieces. Of course, the rings that I will never get rid of for the rest of my life is my engagement ring as well as wedding band. So of course I wear on um, my ring finger and these two pieces are both from James Allen. Of course, I always wear these every single day, super comfortable and it is, I believe, platinum band with kind of diamonds on the half, top half of the ring. As you can see, I just really like to keep the back of my ring plain, so it's actually more comfortable to wear. This was the ring that my husband proposed to me with, and it was actually just from Amazon because he wanted me to pick out the ring that I want to without kind of spoiling the surprise. I will keep this piece forever as well because this was the ring that I said yes to and it's actually really cute ring. So it is too big for my ring finger, but it actually works really well on my index finger. Actually, this together with the pink heart ring, I feel like this is a really good stack as well. By the way, I do have a dedicated video of styling and stacking rings. So if you want more styling ring inspiration, I have indeed styled quite a few of my rings in that particular video. This next piece is from another Amazon brand called Pavoy. They actually make a lot of really high quality but super, super affordable pieces. This come in the 
rose gold as well as gold so I got the pack of three and this actually looks really similar to my actual wedding band it looks actually really really similar to actual diamond so I love that about it the only thing is the diamante detail does go through the entire ring so it's not as comfortable as my wedding band. I also like to wear these dainty rings on my thumb which also make them look really cute. This is a beautiful Monica Vinader diamond ring which is in their Riva collection I believe. It's the big one. This also comes in a smaller size but I absolutely love the tiny diamonds. I really like clustered small diamonds. I just feel like it gives the ring more dimension while keeping it quite subtle and easy to pair with other statement pieces. And so I like to wear this ring on my index finger because of the shape of the ring. It actually makes my finger look really long and it's just a really beautiful piece that I've also been wearing quite a bit recently. Recently. Another statement silver ring. This is from Swarovski and it has this kind of sunflower or just flower-ish design with the yellow gemstone in the middle. I love Swarovski crystal. They shine um, similar but obviously not as shiny as your actual diamond but they definitely scratch the itch of that statement diamond look. This is a super random ring. I don't remember where I got it, but it's in this like belt shape. I, to be honest, have no idea why I still have this ring in my collection. It like doesn't mean anything to me and I don't really wear it. So maybe when I do my jewelry declutter, which I do plan to do after filming my jewelry collection, because I do feel like I just have too many pieces that I don't really wear and there's no point just having them here collecting dust. This next one I got from Israel when I visited a few years ago. It's in the evil eye design with a little kind of star type of thing at the bottom and it is adjustable. I actually think it is really cool again for the summertime. It just has good meaning to it and it serves as a subtle statement as well. This is a Pandora birthstone ring. My birthstone is emerald because I was born in May and I also, you know, I'm obsessed with green. I haven't worn this ring in a while but I feel like this is a really great ring to wear in the Christmas timing just because of the color. Another Monica Vinader piece that I definitely need to polish a bit is their cuff shaped band. And it is in the thicker band. It's quite statementy. I don't wear this as much as I wear the daintier diamond ring. Definitely feel like this makes a bit more of a statement and it looks edgier. So I feel like if you're wearing more edgier outfit, maybe full leather or something like that, this ring will work really well. This next ring is also from Amazon. It is the Coco Crush dupe, but it is quite big even for my thumb. So I don't actually wear it that often. It's really affordable though. I don't know why I got this one as well as the thicker one in gold as the Coco Crush dupe. I think I was just trying to see if I actually want to consider investing in the Chanel version, but after having these, I feel like I don't really <laughs> like the style as much or maybe just because they're both too big for my fingers, so I don't actually wear them much. Then I have a few rose gold pieces. This first one was actually made from a necklace with this star on it. It was, I think, maybe one of the first gifts that my husband ever bought me, but the necklace snapped. So I just went to a jeweler and they added this rose gold band. So now it is just a rose gold diamond star ring, which is actually so beautiful. I haven't worn this in a while. I used to wear this every single day, like even in the shower, because it is in solid rose gold as well as diamond. I used to be obsessed with anything pink and therefore rose gold, but now I'm more into the yellow gold. Moving on to a couple other rose gold pieces. This next one I got from Etsy. Opal almost iridescent coloring. It's really beautiful. I really love the oval shape that really helped elongate my 
quite short fingers as you can see this is also the reason why I got oval shape for my engagement ring and as I mentioned I did have the Amazon Diamante band in the rose gold to be honest if I stack these bands together it's actually not that easy to tell um, the metal color of these bands so you don't actually have to get all three colors I feel like the silver one is definitely the shiniest this is another Monica Vendor piece maybe one of my first pieces that I got from it it also has tiny little diamond on it and it is in I believe rose gold solid rose gold I think because I did also wear this every single day for quite a while when I was very into rose gold I think this next one is also from Amazon I went through a phase where I got a bunch of Amazon jewelry and I'm surprised that they for the most part lasted really well over the years and this is when the these type of baguette really kind of statement tee bands were really popular so I thought I would give it a try I actually do really like it I feel like this would go well with the previous Monica Vinader ring or even kind of stacking them let's see if I put this on my middle finger and stack this on top yeah that's a cool look I should really wear my rose gold pieces a bit more. The last rose gold piece I have is this Tory Burch ring with the logo and diamante detail and the chain design. It is really cool. I love how kind of subtle the logo detail is and it looks really beautiful. Feels so comfortable on my finger. I have quite a few Tory Burch jewelry and they have lasted me very well. Moving on to gold rings, I did talk about this Chanel Coco Crush dupe. I just feel like because my fingers are not that long, I don't really suit this type of really thick band. They just make my fingers look short, so I might actually get rid of this at some point. The next one is a little heart ring that is definitely tarnished. But when it comes to tarnished rings or just tarnished jewelry in general, if it is made of gold vermeil or sterling silver, you can very easily instantly kind of restore the shine by adding baking soda and hot boiling water. So as you can see from the overlay, instantly my jewelry turned from tarnished to shining again so just keeping that in mind if you have tarnished jewelry pieces for the most part if they are not plated if they are for the most part vermeil it is actually quite easy to restore their shine so don't give them away too quickly. This next one is another engagement ring really affordable from Amazon when I was testing out engagement styles. So actually for a few months I was just wearing this ring. I still really like the shape of this ring another just travel ring options. However now that I do have my read your heart travel ring I feel like I like this ring a lot better. I went through a phase of collecting statement rings in basically all sorts of variation as you see I have quite a few starting from this one from Linear I actually have I think five pieces from Linear and this is a really beautiful dainty leaf design perfect for the ring finger it is not too too sparkly so if you want something that's more minimal definitely check out Linear. I love all of their ring designs. A few more Linear pieces. We have this kind of ball design one on my thumb. Then we have this kind of chain one on top of my middle finger. And this one at the bottom has diamond tea detail. This one over here has a bit of a bigger diamond tea detail. And you can also stack all of them together to make them a statement ring. I talked about that in my ring stacking video as well. This is the diamond tea ring from Amazon in gold. So again, just stacking my rose gold on top of gold and then silver on top. As you can see, there's not a huge difference, but you can tell that the silver one is a bit shinier than the gold and rose gold. Also, I will say that the gold and rose gold both are missing 
one kind of stone over here so I don't know why the silver one just looks a lot sturdier than the gold versus rose gold so if I were to buy it again I would just probably buy one silver because um, I don't actually wear all of them together even though it look pretty cool when you stack all three of them together to make that statement ring effect these next rings I got as a set from Etsy so the first two are just really dainty rings that I really really love stacked together and then this next one is slightly thicker band these are gold filled which has more gold content than gold vermeil but less than obviously solid gold and they do not tarnish ever since I got my engagement wedding ring because they are in platinum I started experimenting more with mixing my gold and silver slash platinum so if you want to see a video where I mix my gold and silver pieces and style them then leave a comment below this next one is really pretty I got from Etsy it has mother of pearl on top and it's just a thick band I love pearls and mother of pearls um myself whether it's earrings or necklaces or rings any sort of jewelry I just feel like this creamy white shade really suits my skin tone and that's also why I have quite a lot of creamy white clothing pieces as well and when I bought this ring they also sent me this little stacking ring so I also like to wear this on my thumb which is quite cool neither of these has tarnished at all really really good quality and quite affordable as well definitely looking to Etsy if you have a specific design of ring you have in mind more likely than not you are going to see someone selling them and I typically just go for the store that has the best and most reviews this is another great Etsy find with this beautiful diamond detail and I like to actually wear this on my left hand so it kind of work with my engagement and wedding ring but also doesn't take up too much of the shine from the diamond this is a really cool piece with rose kind of engraved on top of it it is from on root jewelry really affordable another piece i haven't worn in a while but now that i'm looking at it it is really really cute and it actually works really well with any of your more feminine or pieces with maybe ruffles as detail this shirt by the way is from the Ganny Levi's collection. I actually got this from Buffalo Exchange a couple of weeks ago. I love this lavender color, especially when I'm wearing silver jewelry. Another piece I will never get rid of in my collection is my class ring. I graduated from University of Virginia back in 2014, so exposing my age here, but I really love our class ring it's just actually so beautiful and it's this particular signet style has been really trendy for the past few years i feel like i should wear this ring more this is a really cool piece from etsy it has layers of tiny pearls i love the statement it makes this is another piece that i would definitely wear in the summertime it makes a great statement works really well with all of my cute summer dresses forgot to mention this dainty ring it is kind of a knot ring and it is quite affordable as well but only the back of it has a little bit of tarnish i used to wear this ring all the time the statement ring is from Swarovski I love the layer statement look this almost serves as the same effect of if you were to layer the three Amazon diamond tea ring this was the phase when I really loved wearing statement rings and I love to wear just one ring on my hand if you have seen any of my recent videos then you will always see this combination so these are my truly everyday rings this first one is the majority croissant ring in the gold vermeil so they do have a solid gold version that's thinner but i actually 
prefer the gold vermeil one because it actually looks like a croissant. I am obsessed with croissant, so I have to get this ring. And I got this a few years ago, but it is still very popular. So I love that this design really stood the test of time. This is another majority piece, the pinky ring that is in the Cygnus style that I love. Sometimes I wear this next to my class ring as well. It's really pretty and it has a little star with a diamond T design. They don't have this style anymore, but they do have very similar version with the B design, which I also think is so, so cute. This is another majority piece. This one my husband got for me from last Black Friday. It's their diamond dome ring. It's also in solid gold and real diamond, so you don't have to take it off ever. I love stacking the Majore dome ring with my Cartier love band and it is the wedding band, so it is the thinner version, and it's also in yellow gold. I love this stacked look. Now that I have the Read Your Heart ring, I think I'm going to wear this one as my everyday one on my left index finger, and then sometimes I might even just add this heart ring. Oh my god, I actually really love this look. I've been really loving the overstacked look in terms of rings. This is so beautiful. Let me know in the comments below which one of these rings is your favorite and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye!